Hey Nance, this may not be exactly what you want, but I'm going to uh, just show you how to um, work constant contact so that you can get a, um, a PDF. It's, it's a linked PDF, but, it's, but it should work, f I hope, for your purposes. If not, then I don't know what to say, but anyway, you log into the Summit Chamber Chamber program in constant contact. This is it here. Takes a minute. Come on. Okay, here we go. I'm going to go to an email. I'm going to create email. And I'm going to just select a template just for f fun and you can do whatever you can you can kind of play around with this. But I'm going to I'm going to just select um, this one right here. It's kind of boring, but You can see it comes prepackaged with our little logo on it. And I'm going to take this contact out. Delete that block. Yep. Um, I'm just going to delete all this stuff here. Okay. So then I'm just going to. Um, suggest that this would be where you would write your copy and you edit it and I'm going to just um, include here so you would include your PDF so you're going to have to say a couple of words about it and then you include your PDF now here is where um, I found out that this might work for you you would highlight this and you would go to document link so you are looking for a document that you could include in your PDF and right now I've already included I've already uploaded some documents here PDF documents but if you want to upload a new document then you would just go to upload new document and then it would come up here and then you would click the one that you want it to link to so then you would insert that link and it comes back and you can see that it's a link here then I would save it and I would go up here and I would preview it and I'd come here and I would include the PDF and this is the brochure okay so that's how I would do it um, unfortunately I don't know any other way to do it unless you can um, I have I have a little thing that I use called Snagit it's a software tool and that just allows me to snag any picture and make it into an image. Anything on the screen I can make it into an image and then I can make it into a JPEG and then I can just send it that way. So um, there might be another software package that you can use. I had to pay for this but I don't think it's expensive. I think it's $49 but it's called Snagit. And I'll, show you how, I'll show you how it works. You just um, push this little red button here and you can snag this whole thing and it comes out onto this document and you um, save it mm -mm -mm -mm. well it's working maybe it'll, maybe it'll let me use another one now so these are all pictures that I've snagged before and used someplace else. Okay, here we go. So then I save it as, uh, well, I didn't do that right. Let me see if I can save as. So it, may, it lets me save it as um, a standard format, which is ping, BMP, or JPEG, and then Adobe PDF or, or um, a Swift file. But uh, that's, how I, that's how I convert my PDFs to JPEGs is I just use the Snagit tool. So, that's, that's how I use it. Okay, hope that helped. I will be in Denver today with my mom doing laundry and grocery shopping. So if you need me, call me, okay? Talk to you later. Bye-bye.